Hello, I'm Hayden Brown. I'm a student who is studying international business at Leeds Beckett University. This is my marketing vlog for the module Understanding Markets and Customers. There are three main reasons why businesses fail. Poor financial control, bad management and the number one reason is that there is not appropriate marketing. This leads to a decrease in sales and ultimately the failure of the company. Marketing is defined as the management of process of anticipating, identifying and satisfying customer needs for profitability. The definition is explaining how vital marketing is to a business. It's not just about making adverts, it is researching and ensuring that the business's question is going to be creating innovative products that will need and do what customers want. Customers don't always know what they want. An example of a company which is excellent at this process is Apple. They manage to produce many different products that are the lead in their market and a lot of customers didn't even know they wanted what Apple were giving out to them at the time. This has made them a massive super giant in leading every other phone company out there. The company I've chosen to analyse is Haven Holidays. Haven Holidays is a company which has been set up in order to sell holidays to caravan and camping resorts based in 36 different locations around the UK. Most of these sites are located towards the coast, but usually on the outside of outskirts of different sorts of seaside towns and not usually set up too close for walking distance. This is so that this is so that customers who choose to stay on these sites are forced to spend money on the site itself and not actually just use it as a base to go to different towns and villages. This is in place so that the customers will then be more inclined to spend money on the site. Haven is a private limited company who sells their shares only if you are like friends with the directors. During the last 10 years it has undergone massive changes to their structure where they have begun removing existing sites as well as taking some of the franchises away from their sites to replace with newer home brands and companies. In marketing there are four different types of orientation. A business can go down each one. Product orientation. This is where a business will focus on the development of existing products in order to improve and make a profit. They are not usually the best of the products as they are similar. They usually offer cheap alternatives to the leaders in the certain areas and produce high margins. Sales orientated businesses focus on the ability to produce a high volume of sales. This is usually things like clothes companies as they sell what they produce and do not have to buy things from other places. Product orientation company I think like Poundland. These businesses operate on a stack at high and sell at cheap basis meaning that their volume of sales is very very high although their margins sometimes aren't that high as they are selling and buying cheap products. The last type of orientation is market orientation. This kind of orientation is where a business looks at a single aspect of the market in order to create and produce things that are accordingly as to what the consumer's desire needs and can afford depending on the audience that it is aimed at. Haven as a company is actually orientated in two different markets. The first of that would be they are sales orientated. This shows by the way they sell certain products towards their consumers. For example, Haven Holidays focus on pushing sales in different areas. They ensure to be selling consumers holiday homes and caravans to receive the repeat business from them and also give them benefits, meaning that they are then creating a bond with the families of these people. By doing this, they cement that relationship with their consumers and begin offering rewards for loyalty, increasing their margins year by year, as well as offering different outlets to make them money, as well as making the customers believe they are getting better deals than most. An example of this is when a customer buys a caravan from them, they will ask for ground rent before offering to loan caravans out for them when they are occupied on their basis of giving them a percentage of the profits made. This creates a bond between both customers and company in good light and are happy as they are working together to create revenue. In some cases of the company they are also product orientated as they have a high volume of sales each week. They are buying products cheap and ensure to sell them as 
they can throughout the week to keep their sales up. They set targets high and try to meet them each week, giving them a goal to reach, and in some cases producing very high profit margins, but in other cases, the margin can be quite low. As I've said before, here in so many different products, they have a lot of franchises working for them, from Papa John's to Burger King to the Spa. But not all of these are like their own brand products, which is restaurants they own and the sporting areas. There's a lot of different types of products, meaning they market it in very different ways. The biggest seller is Caravans, and this correlates into a high amount of their profits throughout the year when they're speaking in margins. Caravans create a great revenue because they also get to charge for fees of ownerships on their sites. Haven have also ensured to sell at many different costs, reducing the price to as little as £9.50 for different socio-economic groups to benefit from their services. Marketing to different groups increases the amount of people in which they can make money from. Stakeholders have begun mattering more and more than ever when it's coming to the day-to-day -day running of businesses. A stakeholder in Haven stretches from the director to employees to the consumers and even other rival companies like Pat Resorts. Due to the nature of their business, there is a high demand for certain locations around the UK. This means that in many places there will be more than one company owning a caravan site in these locations. In order for Haven to keep more stakeholders than any of the others, they create a bond with their owners, which is the people who own the caravans. And with this bond, they will always make sure the customer is right and always ensure to be giving them 20% off every purchase made on site. As a company, Haven also always ensures to keep everything going legally and rightful, as any kind of bad press will actually damage their reputation hugely and create a massive domino effect, which could be the downfall of the company. They ensure within the company that everything is running legally by running external audits. This is a compulsory procedure due to the amount of food safety revenues on each site. Lost this also causes a lot of stress for the company as it is very, very high standards set by them. They also run on the basis that the customer is always right and keeping the customer in definitely positive and a healthy mood and environment causes them to be attuned to the expectations of the company. Meaning should something cause a negative effect to the customer, it will be righted straight away to ensure their feedback is positive. I hope this has been helpful in anything you have been querying. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.